Today we are publishing the Q1 figures of Carl Zeiss Meditech AG. We are very happy to report a positive start to the year in terms of revenue with double digit percentage growth over the prior year. This is quite a strong result given that there were plenty of challenges to deal with. As you all know, the supply chain situation continues to be difficult. As a global team, we are working hard to reduce the waiting times for our customers, but they are still by far too long. In some areas, we have made progress, but a lot of work remains to be done. As we all feel in our daily life, inflation is becoming more and more an issue. Our costs are rising significantly, which will force us to be more selective with our investments. We are working hard to find the right balance between prioritizing growth while maintaining a good handle on cost development to ensure we invest in the right areas. China also had yet another difficult start to the year. In the first two months, large parts of the country were in lockdowns, as we all remember. In December and January, a massive infection wave hit the country. I'd like to thank our team in China for the excellent work under these highly challenging conditions. We need the contribution from particularly our consumables business in China to recover, but are confident that it will do so over the remainder of the year. As a consequence, though, of all these challenges, we are starting the fiscal year with an EBIT margin that is facing some significant pressure year over year as we diligently work on restoring our momentum in consumables in China and elsewhere, while stabilizing our supply chains and releasing our order backlog to our customers. We are confident that if we can be successful in these areas, we can still catch up to our targets over the course of the year and grow ahead of our underlying markets while achieving an EBIT margin within the forecast range of 19 to 21%. These are not easy times, but our innovation and growth roadmap looks fully intact and we are making important investments for future growth. This way, we are laying the groundwork for our future success for our customers, patients and for our company. Dear shareholders and friends of the company, thank you so much for your support.